Recently, the United States has once again escalated its export restrictions on chips, further tightening the noose on China's AI chip industry. Beneath the widespread ban, domestic enterprises are seeking ways to survive and break free. Within the current domestic AI ecosystem, industry giants have long been laying the groundwork. Hardware manufacturers, especially led by Huawei, are vigorously constructing a computing power ecosystem. Among them, the Ascend series is one of Huawei's AI computing power cores, and Huawei's ambition is to become the third pole in the computing power world. In recent years, Ascend has been in hot pursuit, gradually expanding its scope and strengthening collaboration with the open source community. On October 18, the PY Torch Foundation officially announced Huawei's membership as a premier member, making it the first in China and the tenth globally to attain the highest level of PY Torch Foundation membership. Zhong Dishuan, president of Huawei's Ascend Computing Business, stated, This is mutually beneficial for both Huawei and the PY Torch ecosystem, aligning with our long-standing open innovation and win-win cooperation in the open source philosophy. This latest development carries significant implications, revealing Huawei's newest strategies for Ascent growth and its ambitions in generative AI. The general public may be less familiar with the name PY Torch, but in the field of artificial intelligence, PY Torch is a household name. It is one of the world's most renowned AI frameworks, introduced by Meta and open sourced in 2016. AI frameworks are often considered the operating systems of artificial intelligence, underscoring their critical significance. Beyond PY Torch, Google introduced TensorFlow, which was open sourced in 2015, and Huawei also launched MindSpore, open sourced in 2020. It's evident that competition in the AI framework field is quite intense. Open source foundations serve as a gathering place for top notch tech talents who collaborate to build a particular open source ecosystem and tech-oriented enterprises often play a core contributing role. For instance, aside from Huawei, Intel has also joined the PY Torch Foundation as a high-level member, both of which will accelerate the development of the PY Torch community. Becoming a premier member signifies that a company has made substantial contributions to the open-source community. Huawei's status as the highest-level member of the PY Torch Foundation reflects its significant investment in PY Torch. What are the reasons behind Huawei's choice, and what strategic implications does it hold? Let's delve into today's video to explore these questions. First, Huawei appears to have shifted its approach in the development path of Ascend. An internal Huawei source explains, it's similar to the Kuenpeng, Huawei server CPU, route. Kuenpeng's success is built on co-developing an ecosystem with the community, reusing the existing community systems and offering low customer migration costs. That's why Kuenpeng is doing well. Before Ascend was following the NVIDIA route, trying to do everything on their own. However, it was challenging, and customer migration was difficult. With PY Torch, many customers were already building their businesses on PY Torch, simplifying business migration. NVIDIA, with its software and hardware system under the CUDA platform standard, has led the way, leaving Intel, AMD, Huawei, and others striving to gain a foothold in the AI computing power market. Currently, with a surge in demand for generative AI, a shortage of computing power, and restrictions on foreign chip sales, companies like Ascend are finding new opportunities in the domestic market. However, challenges in the supply chain still need to be addressed expanding rapidly in the short term. While co-building ecosystems with multiple more mature open-source communities might be a more suitable approach, significantly reducing the barrier to customer usage. PY Torch and TensorFlow, being developed earlier and widely adopted AI frameworks, have seen a trend where more and more users are gravitating towards PY Torch. One significant reason for this shift is its user-friendliness, even for novice developers, and its lower learning curve. As for Ascend, it has always strived to be compatible with multiple AI frameworks, but PY Torch has gained more traction among customers. Hence, choosing to collaborate more deeply with PY Torch aligns with Ascend's own developmental needs, and is also a consensus among industry leaders. Building on a more mature AI framework allows Ascend to scale better in a critical dimension. Simultaneously, the demand for training large AI models is immense, and Huawei must seize the opportunity at this crucial juncture. Reportedly, the PY Torch community has released version 2.1 with synchronized support for Ascend NPU, 
meaning developers can directly develop models based on Ascend using PyTorch 2.1. Specifically, PyTorch introduced a more comprehensive third-party device access mechanism in the new version, led by Ascend and jointly completed with PyTorch community core maintainers. With this feature, third-party AI computing devices can seamlessly integrate with the PyTorch framework, without the need for modifications to the existing framework code. In earlier versions, due to the lack of native support for Ascend computing devices, developers who wanted to leverage Ascend NPU for acceleration within mainstream frameworks would need several weeks for model migration. Now, with the new version, users can directly experience the native PyTorch development environment on Ascend NPU. With PyTorch, Ascend has already adapted mainstream large models in the industry, such as Bloom, GPT-3, and Llama achieving performance on par with industry standards after deep optimization. For computing power customers, many of them seek multiple suppliers. Many domestic AI enterprises have already adopted Ascend, and they tend to evaluate Chinese-made AI chips. However, migration often takes a long time, possibly two to three years or even longer. With the closer collaboration between Ascend and the PyTorch community, the development and migration costs for AI enterprise customers will be further reduced. According to information previously disclosed by Huawei, Ascend has developed partnerships with over 1,100 partners to date. Currently, 25 cities have established AI computing centers based on Ascend, with 14 of them already online and running at full capacity. Ascend now supports the development of large models for companies like iFlytech, covering nearly half of the large models in China. Ascend, representing the Computing Power Foundation, is a crucial component of Huawei's 100,000 Types strategy. In September 2023, at the Huawei Global Connectivity Conference, Huawei unveiled its All Intelligence strategy, emphasizing the concept of enabling 100,000 types and empowering thousands of industries. This year, Huawei's rotating chairman, Hu Hokuan, mentioned that Huawei has two focal points in the current phase of its AI efforts. The first is to establish a robust computing power foundation to support the development of the Chinese AI industry. The second is to transition from generic large models to industry-specific large models, effectively serving a wide array of industries and scientific research. On the computing power front, Huawei has developed Kuanpeng chips based on ARM architecture for server CPUs, alongside Ascend AI chips. It has built a new computing ecosystem around Kuanpeng and Ascend. For years ago, Huawei initiated its computing strategy, targeting the computational foundation of artificial intelligence. Now, with the advent of generative AI, the Ascend computing system is accelerating, and Huawei aims to take a leading position in the new wave of AI advancements. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.